Welcome back, you guys, your boy CK. Now, for the longest time, one question that I always thought about was, which draft class is the best? And I know I can't be the only one, okay? So I figured why not make a video where we put all the best players from each draft class on a certain team and had them battle it out to see which one came out on top. Now, unfortunately, guys like Tom Brady, you know, they're not going to be in this video because we only went back to 2011. And the reason for that is 2010 didn't have a quarterback, so they would not have been able to fill the team. But we're going to figure out which draft class of the last decade can say they're the best in today's video now i know a lot of you guys play mutt and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team so if you want to just buy some training or coins or players head on over to muttreserve.com use my code ck and not only will you be rich one day but you'll also get 15 percent off your order now if you guys are new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button also i'm streaming right after this video goes live so if you're part of noti squad first of all i appreciate you but also if you want you can come through link will be in the pinned comment below and this video did take a minute to put together so if you could just like the video that'll mean a lot now let's begin with the 2011 draft class which we barely had enough people to fill out the entire team some of the highlights on this offense gotta be of course julio cam newton you got ingram at running back aj green there was only three wide receivers okay so we had to use some tight ends like lee smith and virgil green kyle rudolph's leading the way at tight end o-line is really good i don't know what it is about them you know they just they never age defense we had four x factors von jj cameron jordan and sherman and then you have a couple superstars in hayward you have chris harris jr i'm gonna make sure hayward's starting but yeah this team it looks good but you know compared to the other teams we're about to see well let's just say you're not that guy pal trust me you're not that guy on to the 2012 draft class as you can see the overall got a little bit better but there's still a lot of old heads on this team okay russell wilson the lone x factor on the entire offense a lot of superstars you know brandon brooks the castro schwartz we had to move alshon to tight end because there were zero tight ends man check it for yourself man i double checked triple checked lamar miller is the best running back cole beasley the best wide receiver so yeah russell wilson has his hands full with this offense defense though once again had a ton of x factors you have man dog you have levante bobby wagner Chandler Jones, Harrison, the Hitman, Stephon Gilmore. So many playmakers on this defense. Linebackers are the most stacked I've ever seen. I mean, when you have high tower not even starting, that's how you know. See, yeah, this defense is unbelievable, but the overalls are just going to keep on getting better and better. Now, the 2013 draft class has the best offense we've seen so far, but the worst quarterback situation with Barkley, Glennon, and Geno Smith, the lone quarterback still standing from that draft. Luckily, Barkley has a lot to work with, man. Latavius is a solid starter look at the wide receivers man nuke keenan adam thielen you have kelsey at tight end with Ertz and reed behind them o-line is filthy defense only one x factor though linebackers not so great in, in the 2013 draft but you have the honey badger you have big play slay micah hyde so secondary is pretty good i gotta be honest though the, the front seven and the quarterback being the way it is i don't see this draft class going that far now the 2014 draft class seems pretty well balanced you got Derek carr leading the way with damian williams at running back Devonte and mike evans at wide receiver not to mention odell brandon cooks Allen robinson jarvis ebron at tight end with burton and bray o-line respectable defense has two x factors with aaron donald and Kalo mack every starter is at least a star so this team offense and defense is looking really good the 2015 draft class is a 91 across the board however the quarterback situation ain't amazing you got winston and mariota running back you have the speedster raheem moster wide receivers are now Nasty with Stefan, Amari, Lockett, Parker, Crowder. You have Waller and Boyle at tight end. O-line, of course, is amazing. Defense is really good. You know, everyone is at least a star. You have an X-Factor and Daniel Hunter. A lot of superstars. I want to call this team a sleeper, but I can't. Not with that quarterback situation. This is the best team we've seen so far. The 2016 draft class. And you can see why, man. You have a quarterback with abilities and Prescott. You have two X-Factor running backs and Zeke and Derrick Henry. Two X-Factor 
wide receivers in Tyreek and Michael Thomas. A lot of depth with Anderson, Will Fuller, Boyd, Shepard, Henry Hooper, and Higby at tight end. O-line is good. Three X factors on the D-line. Michael Pierce, who should be superstar. I don't know why he's not. Kenny Clark, Ramsey leading away at cornerback. Once again, every single starter is at at least a star. This draft class is insane. However, if you ask me, this one might be a little bit better. The 2017 draft class led by Patrick Mahomes. You have Watson at the backup with Trubisky. Three X Factor running backs in McCaffrey, Cook, and Kamara. When Aaron Jones is your number four, you know your team is nasty. Three superstar wide receivers in Galladay, Godwin, and Cub. You have Juju, Corey Davis, Curtis Samuel, Kittle, Ingram, and Howard at tight end. Defense led by TJ Watt, Miles Garrett, Tredavious White. Only one starter that's not a star. So yeah, this, this team is definitely in contention for the best draft class of the last 10 years. So is this one, the 2018 draft class, led by Lamar Jackson, who barely edged out Josh Allen to be the starter. Baker at number three, you have Chubbin Barkley, along with Lindsey and Naeem. Really good wide receivers. Best left guard in the league. Surrounded by really good offensive linemen. You have Andrews, Gasicki, and Goddard. Defense is very solid, okay? Only a couple X factors, but everyone can hold their own, man. Jair, Derwin leading the way with Jesse Bates. Minka's not even starting. This is another contender for sure. Now the 2019 draft class, you know, 87 overall, nothing too crazy. They're not really at their peak yet. So that's why their ratings are, are you know, pretty low. I think this time next year, a lot of these guys can be in the mid to high 90s especially the wide receivers dk and scary terry kyler could be close to a 90 if not higher o-line same thing defense you already have an x-factor in nick bosa so that just shows you how fast he became as good as he is i see a lot of these guys being x-factors next year like brian burns some of these secondary players as well so in the future we do another video like this i think they'll contend in this one i don't know and then finally the 2020 draft class the rookies from last year i mean you can't really expect them to uh, be able to compete with guys that have been in the league for like four or five years herbert leading the way though you know they have fast development traits like x factor superstar most of them do so who knows man they might surprise some people but i'm not expecting much i gotta be honest it's just too early we might have an upset on our hands the 2011 draft class down three to ten to the 2020 draft class cam newton throwing a screen on second and five Mark Ingram gonna get the first down. Two minute warning has just been reached. Cam Newton, three step drop, going right back to his running back. Look at the stiff arm. Two seconds left in the game. They have to score a touchdown. He's gonna throw it up and it's intercepted. The rookies are gonna move on to the next round. So here we are looking at the 2019 draft class, the Cardinals versus the 2012 draft class and the Seattle Seahawks. Kyler on third down, throwing the dot. It's gonna be a touchdown just like that. DK puts his team on top. Big third down coming up right here. They need a touchdown to take the lead. He has someone wide open. And now they're gonna be inside the 10. Second and goal at the 11. Less than a minute left. Guess who? Nick Bosa with the sack. He is now in the zone. The lone X factor for the 2019 draft class is defense. Wilson throwing on a run across his body. That's what he does. Fourth and goal. Biggest play of the game. Interception. The Young Bucks do it again. The 2019 draft class is moving on to the next round. Big third and seven for the 2018 draft class led by Lamar. He's going to get sacked in a 2013 draft class is 36 seconds away from winning big fourth down it's caught and they did not get the first down matt barkley has defeated lamar jackson i cannot believe it we have had nothing but upset so far in this bracket so now we're looking at the 2017 draft class led by mahomes and they're going up against Derek carr in the 2014 draft class but all the chiefs need is another first down or two and they're moving on to the next round could the favorites actually win for the first time in this video let's see mccaffrey out the backfield you know that's what he does best and now we're gonna see harrison bucker add to their lead Derek Carr has some really good numbers, man. Three touchdowns, no picks. He's thrown for a lot of yards, but I mean, when you have Evans and Devontae, that's to be expected, man. We're approaching one minute left in the game. Carr going to throw it to his running back. I think that was James White. I'm not 100% sure. They have a lot of guys around the same overall. However, this is going to be the last play of the game. Will Aaron Donald and Kilo Mack get first rounded? Let's see what happens. Yes, the 2014 draft class is going to get ousted by the 2017 draft class. I'm not gonna lie, this is about what I was expecting. The 2015 draft class led by Winston is struggling versus the 2016 draft class led by Dak. Fourth down, it's gonna be incomplete. 
Big third down, Dak throws a bullet to Tyreek Hill in the 2016 draft class is moving on to the next round. I may have overestimated just how important a quarterback is because Matt Barkley has the 2013 draft class up three scores on the 2020 draft class and Justin Herbert. Hey man, I guess their wide receivers are carrying, you know, Nuke and Keenan. Even their running backs seem to be putting in work. I may have spoke too soon. That was Travis Kelsey with the hold, but they're up 17. Honestly, all they need is like a first down or two. And this one all but over look at that back-to-back -back big runs by Latavius Murray and this call is surprising as well you're up 17 fourth and inches why not get the first they're moving on courtesy of Le'Veon Bell yeah this is about what I was expecting Kyler and the Young Bucks just could not keep up and him in the 2019 draft class are going to get blown out by Mahomes in a 2017 draft class I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit shocked but at this point we should expect this from the 2013 draft class and Matt Barkley. They're in a one possession game against the loaded 2016 draft class, but Bosa gets the sack right there. Remember, they gotta worry about him, Buckner, Kenny Clark, Chris Jones. This D-line is insane. Not to mention the linebackers, but Barkley's still throwing dimes. Big third and six. Can Barkley find one of either Nuke or Keenan Allen? Yes, Hopkins keeps the chains moving. Second and 10 now. Barkley gonna get sacked. Chris Jones putting them in a third and 23 situation. Barkley over the middle. Hopkins wide open. But they have to go for two to tie it up. Biggest play of the game. If I'm them, I probably go to Kelsey or I, I go back to Nuke. Barkley, plenty of time. He's going to Le'Veon, but it's intercepted. What a play by Miles Jack. So it all comes down to the onside kick. It's going to be recovered by who else but Zeke Elliott. And the 2016 draft class is headed to the finals where they're going to face the 2017 draft class. Oh, and, and to add insult to injury, look, look at this. That's that, that, that just mean. Right now, the 2017 draft class is down 10. Mahomes and company still have a lot of time to work with. McCaffrey going to get them a five yards. They're going to have to speed things up a little bit. There's another pass on second down. Big hit over the middle. But Kittle's able to hold on to it. It's going to be a third in inches. And it's going to be a handoff. CMC going to get the first. This 2016 draft class defense is insane. Their front seven has to be the best in this video. And their secondary ain't too shabby either. Good breakup right there. I think that was Juju trying to catch the ball. It's going to be a second down and 10 Mahomes. Over the middle, that's a dot. They have just reached the two-minute warning. Still down 10. Mahomes going to the end zone is incomplete. And they're going to take the three. Harrison Bucker going to put them within one possession. Second and four, the 17 draft class has no timeouts remaining. It's another handoff. Z gets the first, but there's a flag. Call C mistake by Laramie Tunsil. Just like draft day. So now instead of a first down and the W, it's a third and six. And the Chiefs need to stop. They're not going to get it. Derrick Henry off to the races. The 2016 draft class is the best of the last decade. So let me know what you guys think of the results in the comment section or in my stream. You know, you can come through. I'm streaming right after this video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time.